Hi everyone! Welcome back guys. I know we've been on a bit of a hiatus, but we are back again this week uh, delving into a new game. So hopefully you all had a wonderful new year and as you're setting about uh, creating New Year's resolutions, one of those might be to clean out your house and get rid of some unwanted junk. That's why we're playing Junk Orbit this yeah, week. Yeah, great segue. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is a super fun game. Um, it's for ages 10 and up, um, two to five players, and it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to play. Um, it's based on the concept of how much junk is floating around in space, and I actually looked this up. There's over 128 million pieces Oof. of junk floating that, around that, That's too space. much junk. Yeah, that's a lot of space junk. So yeah, if you think you have clutter problems. <laughs> Imagine what space looks yeah. like. Yeah. So yeah, this is a fun little game. Um, it actually was not one that I was aware of before we started playing it, but uh, the concept is pretty simple. The idea is that you are trying to essentially transport um, uh, space junk across uh, between the moon, the Earth, and Mars. And so if we can kind of pan down here a little bit. There you go. So you get an idea of what kind of the board setup is like. So we have Mars, the Moon, um, and the Earth. And if you add more players to it, you add uh, additional moons, I think. I forget what they're called, but um, they do exist there. Uh, so as you can see, um, around these planets are uh, junk tiles. And the junk tiles correlate with um, the different planets that they're around. So you have Earth ones, Moon ones, and then uh, the Mars ones that are over there. And um, you are essentially just trying to collect junk, and each junk tri tri that tile has a different location on the top of it. And so from your current position, where you start at, you are trying to get your pieces of junk to that location. Um, and based on how far that takes you, uh, you get uh, certain victory points. So for instance, this is a Mars tile, so you'd only be collecting it in theory from Mars, and you are transporting it to Rio, which is on the planet Earth. So it takes a lot longer to get from Mars to Earth, and therefore you earn more victory points from doing that. Um, one of the other uh, mechanics of this game is targeting your opponents. So at any given time when you're at the board, you as you spread out across the board, uh, you can project uh, your junk to its location, and in the process, you might accidentally hit an opponent, and when you do, they take a penalty from that. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the basic mechanic of the game, so it's kind of a combination of trying to um, get your junk to the proper home place for it, as well as trying to uh, hose over your opponent in the process. Another thing that's kind of cool that we noticed um, as we were looking at the pieces today is a lot of um, the names of different places reference uh, classic sci-fi. Yeah. So I'm seeing the name Bradbury um, on here for, for probably you, Ray Bradbury. Yeah, for those of you like Martian Chronicles or um, Ursula Le Guin is also on here as well as a place. Um, there's Copernicus, there's Hamilton, there's Tycho, so a lot of... A lot what of was the time box? Yeah, yeah, and you also get a ship. The time in, booth. Yeah, you get a ship in this game, and they reference uh, various different space sci-fi ones. So the one that I'm playing with is called the Time Booth for all you Doctor Who fans out there. And Nora and space cowboy. has a space cowboy, which we think is like a Josh Whedon kind of reference there kind of like sci-fi western, uh, but there's several others uh, that are in there as well. And so it's just kind of a little clever game that plays on uh, sci-fi and science history as well. So, yeah, we hope you enjoy this game. Yeah, it is available here at the library currently, so you can come on in and check it out, um, along with several other games. This is part of a brand called Renegade, where we ordered a bunch of those at the end of last year. So they're really fun games. We've shown some of their other games on our videos as well. So. Uh, if you played them and liked them, you'll probably definitely like this one as well. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we will see you again next week. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks again to the Friends of the Library for purchasing these awesome games for us and for you all to check out. Yeah, see you guys. Have a good week.